Hi, Dr. Osborne here, and today I want to talk a little bit about gluten sensitivity and bone loss, otherwise known as osteoporosis or osteopenia. There are a number of different mechanisms whereby gluten can induce bone loss, and so I want to cover some of the main basics. The most well-known way with gluten sensitivity is that it can create an autoimmune disease known as celiac disease. And this celiac disease can lead to severe malabsorption, and that malabsorption is a major cause of vitamin and mineral loss. And so, for example, we might see things like calcium deficiency, iron deficiency, vitamin B12, magnesium deficiency. And all of those nutrients, vitamins and minerals, are necessary to basically help the body build adequate, healthy bone. So, this is the most commonly discussed pathway. But there are a number of people that have gluten sensitivity that do not have celiac disease, so I want to talk about some of the other pathways because this is not even discovered because of non-celiac gluten sensitivity. And one of the manifestations of gluten is actually acid reflux. And so that would be potentially the only symptom a person might have. Now, the common thing that's done for acid reflux is we take medications or we're prescribed medications that block acid or that reduce stomach acid. So these medications, unfortunately, have recently been shown to cause magnesium deficiency, vitamin B12 deficiency, iron deficiency, calcium deficiency. Again, these same vitamins and minerals that are necessary to build bone. So what ends up happening in a non-celiac patient who develops reflux as a result of gluten sensitivity, they're put on medications that can actually, over time, reduce the ability of their bone to properly form. And so that's another mechanism how gluten can indirectly create bone loss. You've also got autoimmune, or rather irritable bowel syndrome. Now, irritable bowel syndrome, typically the type that we're talking about is the type where the patient has chronic diarrhea. And that chronic diarrhea, of course, can cause malabsorption, leading to vitamin and mineral deficiencies, leading to, again, bone loss. You've also got the fact that gluten sensitivity is known to cause blood sugar dysregulation as well as cardiovascular disease in a number of forms. Gluten sensitivity for some people elevates their blood pressure. For some people, elevates blood sugar. For other people, it increases the viscosity of the blood or the thickness of the blood. So kind of the combination of, of the pattern of different forms of heart disease oftentimes leads to drugs that will either reduce blood sugar levels, reduce blood pressure, and in some cases reduce the blood viscosity, so we'll thin the blood, we'll take blood thinners. And so again, if the gluten sensitivity is causing these irregularities, but gluten is not being investigated as the potential cause, and we have these as being the side effects of that, then of course the medications are prescribed to treat the side effects of gluten sensitivity without addressing the origin of the gluten itself, then what we end up with, blood sugar medications actually cause vitamin B12 deficiency. They can also cause CoQ10 deficiency, both very critical and important nutrients for the regulation of bone growth. Blood pressure medications can also cause these deficiencies, but also can lead to magnesium deficiency, potassium deficiency, as well as calcium deficiency. So both, or all three rather, are important minerals for mineralization of bone. And then of course we have the blood thinning family. And depending on which type of blood thinner that a person is being prescribed, there are a number of different varieties. Probably the two most common, uh, one being aspirin, the baby aspirin that doctors recommend actually blocks vitamin C, which is necessary for bone formation, but also blocks folic acid which is necessary for bone formation as well. And then the other medications to thin the blood typically are blood thinners like Coumadin or Warfarin, and these will cause vitamin K deficiency. So vitamin K deficiency, vitamin C deficiency, folic acid deficiency, magnesium, potassium, B12, CoQ10, all those are nutrients necessary for the proper generation of energy to be able to produce bone tissue for the proper um, production of collagen fibers that are essential and critical that go into bone tissue and build the backbone of the, of literally the backbone of the tissue itself. 
And so if we start inhibiting these things over time, we're going to end up with an increased loss of the ability to produce bone tissue. Now there's another element that gluten can contribute to called leaky gut. Um, the technical name for that, and many people have heard the term leaky gut, but there's another term, it's called intestinal permeability. Now this actually finding was only discovered about eight or nine years ago at the University of Maryland. And so intestinal permeability can lead to several components. We're running out of room here. One of them, it can lead to malabsorption of nutrients. So just like we've already been discussing the vitamin and mineral deficiencies that are important for bone building. But leaky gut also contributes to chronic inflammation. And the reason why when the gut is permeable, foods and proteins and viruses and bacteria leak, can leak into the bloodstream and they overstimulate the immune system. And so then we have this immune result of hyperinflammatory status. In other words, the body is inflamed because it's trying to fight off all these foods that are leaking through into the bloodstream. And inflammation is a known inducer of bone loss. As a matter of fact, um, there's a whole field of study on how immune reactive inflammation can create bone loss. It's called osteoimmunology. And so these are all the different mechanisms by which gluten sensitivity can create or contribute to bone loss and realize only one of those is celiac disease. Now the reason I say that is because if you are not diagnosed with celiac disease and don't suspect that you have celiac disease, it doesn't mean necessarily that you're not gluten sensitive. And so if you're having any of these types of issues, this would be something that would be smart to have your doctor rule in or rule out so that you could prevent later in life the weakening of your bone.